Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. Hope you all are well. Before starting our topic, I'm passing out some instructions. Kindly follow them as directed. Don't raise your hand during class. Keep a pencil, rough copy with you to note important points and ask at the end of the class. Today we are going to start vocabulary. Unit number five, the picnic vocabulary. It's in your active English course book, page number 50. So as you know that we eat many kinds of food in our daily life, right? We eat many kinds of food, right? Like for example, we eat fruits, we eat vegetables, we eat rice, uh, we eat pulses, we eat beans, etc. We eat many kinds of food. So today, we are going to learn about different kinds of food which we eat in our daily life. For example, fruits. As you can see in the fruit basket, there are many different types of fruit. For example, it can be an apple. Okay, apple is a fruit and it is very good for our health. It's a famous saying that an apple a day keeps our doctor away. We must eat at least a, one fruit in our, in our daily life. Means like every day we must have one fruit or vegetable. It's very good for our health. It keeps us healthy. This banana. Banana is also a food and, and it's very good for our health. Strawberry. Strawberries are very yummy. It's very tasty and I think it's favorite of most of you, right? Watermelon. Watermelon season comes in the summer. It's especially good in summer to keep us hydrated because there's a lot of water in it and when you feel thirsty, you can just have watermelon juice or you can just uh, cut the watermelon and have it. It's a fruit and it's very tasty. And there are oranges and also many kinds of fruits in our daily life. Grapes. Grapes are also yummy now. It's season of grape. And many of you have grapes, right? You go and you have grapes in your daily life. It's very uh, good to have fruits, vegetables, veggies. I mean, like vegetables like, uh, and fruits, it's very good to have it, right? To keep us healthy and strong. So now let's come to vegetables. You eat vegetables raw. Raw means without cooking it. And you can also eat vegetables, cooked vegetables, right? Your mother cooked delicious vegetable dishes and uh, present to you. Or, so you can eat it. So you can eat vegetables raw. Raw means you can't. For example, onion. You can't have onion like this, right? You need to cook it before you have it. Means before you eat it. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are also vegetables. Cucumber. Cucumber are vegetables which you can eat it without cooking it, right? It's very healthy and it's very refreshing. Cucumber. Carrots. You can have carrots raw means without cooking or you can just cook it and have it you can eat it right carrots are very healthy it's very good for your eyes and it's very healthy vegetables corn corn are very delicious you can just boil it or you can just uh, fry, uh, fry it and you can have it i think many of you like corns right so these all come under vegetables. We have fruits, vegetables, and we also have rice in our daily life. Rice you can have plain, the same like white rice it's shown in the picture, or you can your mother makes also biryani, right? That's also rice. Okay, you, your mother makes biryani, or she makes yellow rice, or she will make uh, she makes uh, ramen rice for you. This all comes under rice. There are many types of rice. There are brown rice or plain white rice but here many of us we just have white rice okay these all are the foods which we have in our daily life i have shown you that we have fruits we have vegetables we have rice we also have bread every morning in your breakfast you have bread right and breads are also of many types for example white bread Okay, uh, the white bread and brown bread. There are two different kinds of bread: white bread, brown bread, and milk bread. You can say it milk bread, or you can just uh, say that it's a, a milk bread or bun bread. 
okay you can use it for making sandwiches or you can just eat it like this with milk or tea whichever you like so there are breads are also of many different kinds these are three kinds of bread which i have shown you there are also many other kinds of bread which you have in your daily life which you, which is your favorite one you can just have that then there are sandwiches you also have sandwiches in your daily life right once in a week or daily as you prefer sandwiches are also of different types for example here in the picture it's shown it's a cheese sandwich okay it's a cheese sandwich you just have uh, add some cheese and you uh, just melt the cheese on the pan and you have the sandwich it's very yummy and there is also chicken sandwich there's chicken sandwich meat sandwich or fish sandwich which which uh, meat you like you just add that with some vegetables or some cheese and you can just have it it's also yummy sandwiches are of many kinds it doesn't mean that what i have shown you only that are sandwiches there are also many different kinds of sandwiches then this egg sandwich okay uh, egg sandwich is very common you have it daily in your breakfast or in your dinner time or in evening which when you're hungry you will just ask your mother to make for you right so now there are noodles noodles are favorite of everyone who doesn't love noodles there are also many types of noodles which you make it by your own okay then there are nuts nuts are very uh, very uh, helpful and it keeps us very strong and healthy so we must have nuts you can call it nuts or you can also call it dry fruits okay in dry fruits or nuts there are almonds almonds are very good you must have at least 5 to 7 almonds in a day to keep yourself healthy and there are peanuts keep you mostly have it in winter season to keep yourself warm in i mean all the nuts mostly you have it in winter season and these are called pistachio okay then cashew nuts these all are called nuts or they are called dry fruits then there are beans you also have beans in your daily life or many of you like them like beans or many of you don't like there are also pulses okay now open your course book page number 50 open your active english course book page number 50 vocabulary we eat many kinds of food as i have already told you that we eat many kinds of food in our daily life for example fruits we eat fruits and i have also shown you different types of fruit there are many kinds of fruit i have just shown some of them we eat fruits we eat vegetables i have also shown you the pictures of vegetables we eat rice we eat bread we eat sandwiches we eat noodles we eat beans we also eat nuts we also eat meat chicken mutton fish okay there are many kinds of food which we have in our daily life fruits vegetables rice bread sandwich noodles beans nuts fruits vegetables rice bread sandwich noodles beans nuts okay on the same page there is an exercise fill in the blanks with the names of food fill in the blanks with the names of food look at pictures for clues okay there are pictures given over here so these are your clues it's in your active english course book page number 50 the first one is come and have a ball of dash come and have a ball of dash means come and have a ball of what what you can see in this picture what is this picture about yes very good the picture is of noodles come and have a ball of noodles come and have a ball of noodles in this ball what you can see you can see noodles right so the answer is noodles the second one george puts bread on a slice of dash what is george doing he he puts what he's putting bread on what 
on bread. Very good. George puts bread on a slice of, sorry, George puts butter on the slice of bread. What is George doing? You can see a butter over here and in his hand he is having a bread. He is uh, putting some butter on the bread. George puts butter on a slice of bread. The third one. We should eat dash every day. We should eat dash every day. See here the picture is given on the side. What are these? These are fruits. Very good. We should eat fruits every day. What, what should we eat? We should eat fruits every day. The fourth one. She cooks dash for dinner. See, as you can see here, she is cooking something. What is she cooking? She cooks rice for dinner. What is she cooking? She is cooking rice. She cooks rice for dinner. The first one. Come and have a ball of noodles. You can see the picture over here. Pictures of noodles. Come and have a ball of noodles. Second one. George puts butter on a slice of bread. What is George doing? He put his butter on a slice of bread. Okay. The third one. We should eat fruits dash. Uh, sorry. We should eat dash every day. We should eat fruits every day. What should we eat? We should eat fruits every day. So to stay healthy and strong. The fourth one. She cooks dash for dinner. What she cooks for dinner? She cooks rice for dinner. As you can see in the picture, it's white in color and it's rice, right? You can see in the picture it's shown over here. She cooks rice for dinner. Now the next one. This grammar. It's in your active English course book, page number 51. We are studying grammar. It's of unit number 5, the picnic. It's in your active English course book, page number 51. It's going to. What is going to? Going to is going to is used to talk about the events that will take place in the future. What is going to? Going to means we already make plan before. For example, your friend invites you to his house for dinner on Sunday. When he invites you on Sunday, but he is telling you today. But on Sunday, you already made a plan. Okay, on Sunday, you already made a plan. Like you all, uh, already decided that you want to go to visit your grandparents' house or your uncle's house on Sunday. You already made a plan. So how will you say to him? Or how will you say to her? You say that I am going to visit my grandparents' house or my uncle's house on Sunday. Means you already made a plan. You all, your friend invites you today for dinner on Sunday. Okay, but on Sunday you already made a plan. Means you already decided what you want to do or where you want to go. And that uh, situation we use going to. Means you already made plan. Okay, you uh, like for example, your teacher already decided that tomorrow you're going to have a test. So she's uh, she will say you in the class, right? That I am going to conduct the test tomorrow or on the coming days, like tomorrow or uh, on Wednesday, on uh, Friday, like that. It means you already decided what you want to do. Now in this we use. Is MR right? Why we use is MR because ING is coming as I have already uh, taught you in our unit number one in C animals, right? That when we are right using ING, we must use the helping verb is, am, and are. As you know, that with the subject he, she, and it, we use is with the subject he, she, it. We use is the subject I. We use the helping verb am. The subject I. We use the helping verb am. And with the subject B, you, are, we use are. Okay, with the subject B, you, sorry, they. 
we, you, and they, we use are. We use the helping verb are. For example, he is going to play cricket. I am going to visit my brother on Sunday. We are going to play football in the evening or we are going to play football tomorrow. Okay. With the subject he, she, it, we use helping verb is. With the subject he, she, it, we use is because they are singular noun, right? They are singular noun. In the place of he, you can also write any name. For example, Ali is. And instead of she, you can write any name. Sarah is. Instead of it, you can write any animal's name or anything's name. Okay. Instead of I, you can say your own name. Okay. I am going to visit my uncle's house or I am going to read a book before sleeping. We are. Okay? You are. They are. Okay. We use are because they are plural nouns. And we use is here because this all these three are singular noun. He, she, it are singular noun, right? They're only about one person. They're talking only about one person. So we use is. But here we, you, and they. They are plural, right? They're more than one person. So we use are. For example, I am going to play or I am going to swim. I am going to wash. You are with the subject I, we use am, right? With the subject you, we are using are. You are going to play. You are going to swim. You are going to wash. Now, for here you can see that he, she, it, this written is because they are singular nouns and we use is with the singular noun he is going to she is going to it is going to it is going to play or it is going to swim it is going to wash we are going to play you are going to play or you are going to swim they are going to play or they are going to swim okay with these subjects, the helping verbs are given. I am going to. You are going to. He is going to. She is going to. It is going to. Okay. We are going to. You are going to. And here you can write all the verbs which we are going to. For example, play, swim, wash, watch, or, or visit. You can use any verb any action what you want to do for examples now i'm going to show you some of the examples of it you can already see the picture here uh, that uh, a guys already made plan like i have already made plan that i am going to i am going to watch tv or television at night i am going to watch television at night here the subject is i so we have to use the helping verb am i am going to i am going to watch television at night when am i going to watch television i'm going to watch television at night but i'm talking about it right now okay i have decided from before that I'm going to watch television at night. I have decided in the morning or in the evening that I am going to watch television at night. I is a subject with I we use the helping verb am going to. Going to means I have already decided so I will use going to here. Going to watch television at night. So the next one. He is going to. He is why did i use here is because here i am talking about a singular noun he he is going to go for a walk in the evening okay if i uh, told one friend that uh, come to my house or come let's play cricket then 
but he have already decided that he is going to go for a walk in the evening when is he going to go for walk he's going to walk go for a walk in evening he's going in evening but he's informing us or he is telling us from before like he is going to go for a walk in the evening as you can see in the pictures there are there are dark clouds right when you see dark clouds what we say it is going to rain we don't know when it will rain but it is going to rain how you can say that it's going to rain because you are seeing dark clouds right there are dark clouds in the sky so you know that it is going to rain right it is going to rain you don't know what is the time maybe it can be a now or it will rain after one hour two hour or in the evening or in the night but you know that it is going to rain because you can see the dark clouds right it is going to rain you know that it will rain so you will say it is going to rain now in this picture you can see that a girl getting a lot of presents or gifts she is going to get presents on her birthday you know that when uh, when your birthday comes many of you get gifts right from your family from your friends you get gifts right so she when there is a birthday party you get gifts right so she, you know uh, now there is a girl on her birthday she is going to get gifts so what her friend will say her friend will say that she is going to get presents or gifts on her birthday she is going to with a with a subject she we use the helping verb is she is going to what is she going to she is going to get presents on her birthday she is going to get presents on her birthday or gifts on her birthday we are going to play cricket we we are with the subject V, we, we are using R because it is a plural noun, right? It's a plural noun. So we use R. We are going to play cricket. What are they going to do? They're going to play cricket. But it can be in the evening, it can be tomorrow. Okay. But they are making the plan from before that we are going to play cricket. They have made the plan before that we are going to play cricket, that they are going to play cricket. Understood? They are going to visit the zoo with their grandparents tomorrow. What are they going to do? They are going to visit the zoo. They are going to visit the zoo with their grandparents. When they are going to visit the zoo with their grandparents? Tomorrow. They are going tomorrow but they have made this plan before. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, from you are in the school or uh, you are you're in your home in evening you want to play outside so you have already decided that after finishing your work or after finishing your homework you're going to play with your friends or you're going to watch television or you're going to uh, draw something or you're going to read a book okay means you have already planned so here they have also planned before that they're going to visit the zoo with their grandparents tomorrow yeah, I hope you have uh, got all the examples. Now, uh, it's open your uh, book. It's in your Active English course book, page number 51. Okay, see the definition over here. The going to is given. When we talk about events that will take place in the future, means that will take place in the future, then we use going to. We use am, is, are. We use the helping verb am, is, are. And going to plus verb. For example, I am. Okay, I am. With the subject I, we use am. Helping verb am. I am going to visit my brother tomorrow. What is she going to do? She is going to visit her brother tomorrow. Like she decided that I am going to visit my brother tomorrow. Second example, Ray is going to learn tennis. When is he going to learn that we don't know but in future he is going to learn tennis. Ray is going to learn tennis. Tennis is a sport which you play indoor. 
the my friends are going to watch television my friends are going to watch television time is not mentioned here but in future like any time they are going to watch television my friends are going to watch television here what we are using are because we are talking about plural noun we are talking about friends okay we are plural noun so we use the helping verb are now open your active english course book page number 51 there's an exercise right am is are plus going to before each verb in the brackets you have to write am is are plus going to before each verb in the bracket first one i dash in the bracket the verb is already given to you play hockey next year you know what's hockey hockey is a game right it's a game same like uh, cricket but it's not exactly cricket okay i dash play hockey next year you have you're talking now but your plan for in the future right so with the subject i what you use use am i am what going to what are you going to do i am going to play play is already given here so you just have to write it i'm going to play hockey next year you are talking it now but you have planned it for the future right you plan for the next year that you are going to play hockey i am going to play hockey next year second one rick and Sa sasha rick and sasha dash help me find my ball tomorrow rick and sasha are going to help rick and sasha what are they going to do? they are going to help why we use here the helping verb are because we are talking about two persons right Rick and Sasha are going to help me find my ball tomorrow. Like I have lost my ball and I want to find it. So I need friends, my friends to help me, right? So Rick and Sasha are going to help me find my ball tomorrow. I have lost my ball today, but they are going to help me find my ball tomorrow. The third one, the cat dash chase the mouse when it wakes up chase means to run after okay the cat what the cat is going to very good the cat is going to chase the mouse when it wakes up means the mouse uh, the cat is sleeping right now but when it wakes up when the cat wakes up it is going to chase the mouse means it is going to run after the mouse to catch it right the cat is going to chase the mouse when it wakes up the fourth one marry dash buy vegetables later in the evening marry dash buy vegetables later in the evening what is mary going to do she is going to buy vegetables later in the evening she's going to buy vegetables later in the evening why you used here is because we are talking about singular now you can say mary or you can say she Okay, Mary is going to. What is she going to do? She is going to buy vegetables later in the evening. Means any time in the evening she is going to buy vegetables. Now let's come to your home task. You have to do do course book page number fifty and fifty one. In your course book page number fifty and fifty one, you have to do page number fifty is of your vocabulary, and page number fifty one is of your. Uh, grammar then do workbook page number 22 and 23 you have to do workbook page number 22 and 23 this is your workbook page number 22 the picnic vocabulary label the pictures of food with their names as you can see uh, the their pictures you have to write the name of this food i'll say you the first one rest you have to do it by yourself the first picture what you can see you can see a picture of sandwich right so you have to write over here in the blank and the, you have to write sandwich the second one what's this picture about okay what's this picture about this picture is about rice very good same like this you have to see the picture and you have to write the name of food and then next one is uh, your course uh, workbook sorry it's a workbook page number 23 not course book it's workbook page number 20 
grammar when we talk about events that will take place in future we use am is and are plus going to plus verb so here you have to fill in the blanks same like what i have uh, told you in how to do it in your course book for example the first one mrs white dash give us a test tomorrow mrs white is a teacher and what is she going to do tomorrow mrs white is why is because we are talking about singular noun only one person right so is mrs white is going to give us a test tomorrow same like this you have to fill all this it's in your workbook page number 23 not in your course book okay i hope you all have understood what we have learned today uh, that's all from my side thank you and allah hafiz